This is your weekly Ascension Energies reading. It's for July 8th through 14th, 2024. Thank you so much for joining me here. My name is Carolyn. We've been going through a massive star upgrade, more of a galactic being is coming in here and shifting the, the whole body really is upgrading right now into an expanded container of the 144,000, the rainbow body, the rainbow light body. Uh, it's the tree of life, the 12 strands of DNA. So this is completing the old cycles, the old earth cycles, system, body, foundation, the seven chakras, all of these sorts of things to expand right now into the light body, the rainbow body. I do have a rainbow light body activation. If you'd like to join that and get all of the codes, the link is down below for that. So these energies are really coming on board this year. And they're now we're kind of in the prime time of the transformational process of the physical body over these next few months ahead. So I'm seeing, I'm hearing something about the hair um, with that. Um, I was also hearing something about cleansing out the home. There might be um, guided to clean out the closets, uh, clean out old energies around the home this week as well um, as guided. So for, for the first energies we have this week, we have the 10 of pentacles. Looks very, very, very good. Earth star chakra, yeah, the, the foundation. So this is where the upgrades are coming from looks like a lot of peace um i'm hearing the fragmentations ending and then we have abundance is a state of mind here so it looks very good that the foundation and the root chakra is cleared out this is the lower chakras is, is where we create can manifest the financial abundance and security and stability but it all definitely starts with the mind as well right so it's, it looks like you're very stable. The Earth Star Chakra says initiation here to the Ten of Pentacles here is available. And it looks like the whole body from head to toe from Earth Star Chakra to the Stellar Gateway Chakra is ready to expand into this abundance mindset and gravitate more to the New Earth Wealth System and the infinite supply that's available and accessible. So this is you healed of the lack, the self-worth, the poverty consciousness, maybe the contracts. I feel like we cleared some of that the past few weeks in the extended readings was um, contracts of poverty and other lifetimes and these sorts of things and the vows. of And yeah, there's just been a whole lot of layers of things that have had to clear up and systems that have programmed us to feel like we can't be in this ten of pentacles without attaining it in a certain way which is very hard but i'm hearing god is delivering us from evil so these things that would get in the way here and disrupt either the foundation the stability the health the security or influence the mind um can't come in and do that in your lower chakras any any longer um it's similar to what i just filmed the love reading about the feminine of these entities would always come in and disrupt the foundation cause the chaos um take you out of the body um fragment you and so when we're stressed out worried fears anxieties these are all in the mind but they then uproot us out of our um, root chakra fragment us we are disconnected from the earth we're disconnected from our bodies um you know and then if something major happens we can be disconnected for days you know until you can calm down the nervous system and relax back into the body and think clearly again and um move through the energies and focus on the solutions right so when but when we're stressed out and worried and in a state of panic and, and anxiety which can happen through ptsd as well it can happen through the solar flares and all these cleansings where that we're experiencing because it's actually dislodging a lot of stored memories out of the body right now as well so as these things come up then we're in this state of being where we're not stable we're not balanced we're not thinking clearly we're not feeling um, confident, you know, in these sorts of things. So this looks like an opportunity or a, a completion of a clearing and alignment of the lower chakras and the mind um, and more control of the mind. I would say not letting the ego go frantic and like the amygdala into the fear tactics, the manipulation, 
um, you know, they, the system is very, very clear that they now, since 2020, it's very clear that they use fear to manipulate people, right? So um, as long as we can stay calm and stable and confident and trusting, you know, and out of fear, the, the more we can override that system and not let it uh, enter and affect us, right? Which is not easy. So I feel like though you're at that point now, The next cards we have are Earth, Nurture, Nature. So again, Earth Star Chakra, Earth, getting really grounded and stable, and then the expansion can happen. So it does look like a good awakening is also here. Prince of Cups, and then uh, I was called here on a mission, and this also has the Earth on it, right? These two cards are very similar. So it's like an expansion is happening here. You came here to clear these systems, long story short. So it looks like um yeah this is definitely connected again with the galactic control systems this week is going to be very much about that and about how they manipulate our feminine energies to control us so it's like this the serpent agenda you know running the system and the caduceus the staff the pine cone all these things we've been clearing the past few weeks here to get our, our power back over our mind and our pineal gland and these sorts of things. So it looks really good here that there's a continuation. I'm seeing this is going into the children as well. So the future generations are also healing. I'm, I'm seeing this as like really a big crossing that rainbow bridge kind of um, idea here where we're moving into this newer timeline and this fragmented self, the, the fragmented family tree is all healing now. And um, we're, we're grounding into the new earth here. The, it looks like the new earth herself is ready. I feel like these systems that were controlling and manipulating the things happening on earth and the earth herself cannot do that here any longer. Like the earth herself has overridden those systems. She's, she's moving on here as well. So this does look like the earth is... You know, they talk about the, about the 3D, 5D split, right? And this is what I'm seeing. Like, she's now in this 5D template, very protected, uh, unified with heaven and earth. Like, she's back whole. And this is why us star seas came here, is to facilitate the earth's ascension. And we're going with her, right? So we have to break the systems that continued controlling how everything was running in this universe to do that. So I feel very good about this here. Um, we have balanced forces as the last cards coming in with the King of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. And the last card we have is my high vibes heal the world. Amen to that. So you did it, Star Seeds here. You've done this. You've helped the earth. This is definitely a graduation. We got everything back into balance here, especially like the masculine and feminine. And the systems here, I'm, I'm hearing Adam and Eve. I feel like this was... Uh, the completion of what Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene came here to do, that we heal the genetic, the bloodline, God's covenant bloodline here as well um, for our, our ancestors. So very, very successful <laughs> week. I don't know if I have much more to say about these energies, except it looks like we're shifting here and we're going to be shifting with the earth's ascension this week so continue basically getting aligned and in control of your thought continue being in control of your mind and your thoughts and remembering to rem that this is a mission right it's not as personal it's definitely personal because it affects us personally but we also some of the ways to cope with that and not get into fear and worry and anxiety is to remember that we're here on a mission this is a template we're doing together we're all together with the earth you're not alone even though i know it feels like you're alone um because we're scattered over the earth right but this is very successful i feel like we've accomplished with the pentacles as as well being the earth uh element here a lot is done for the earth and the foundation of the earth the new earth and this she is fully ascended now is what it looks like to me and the systems that were or she's th through through going over the rainbow bridge into the new earth here and this the systems that were preventing that broke 
So it's just a matter of moving on and ascension, ascending into these higher dimensions. And like I said, we're going with her. So there, there, we just have to go on for the ride here this week. And we're have we're going to be working with the Earth Warriors Oracle card deck. So we are the Star Seeds. We are the Rainbow Warriors. We came here. This is why we're here, and to to complete these Star Wars, complete these systems. Um, destroying the earth here and move on, move our genetics, move of the physical human, the DNA, the cells, our bloodline, our ancestors, our children and future generations on into this new cycle, healthy, healed and whole. And you've really done that foundationally here with success. So we're going to continue on with this reading and I'm hearing clearing the Jezebel spirit. I've been hearing that a couple of times in um, this reading. And yeah, we'll get more cards and then we'll do the God Code Shamanic Healing. So whatever comes through here that we can support facilitating this for you, for the earth this week, we will do I, together an idealist down below some of the energies so you can see if this week's extended reading resonates with you. If you'd like to join us, it's on Vimeo. The link is down below. Thank you so very much for joining me here. God bless you and have a very blessed week. Take care.